If you want to be an actuary, I automatically know that you are one of the most ambitious people out there. You love a good challenge. You're all about being a better version of yourself. You set a goal for yourself and go all in on it if it's really important to you and you don't give up without a fight. I can 100% relate to that. That's just the type of people that future actuaries are. Those are amazing qualities to have. And as you finish up the rest of 2025 and go into 2026, you probably have very high expectations of what you're gonna accomplish in the next year and what you wanna get done even by the end of this year. But I just wanna remind you of something. Actuarial exams are important for your career. Getting related experience is important for your career. Building up strong technical skills is important for your career. There is an endless number of things that you can do in order to be an amazing candidate for actuarial jobs as soon as possible. But that to-do list never, ever, ever ends. There is always more being added to your plate of things that should get done, need to get done, that you want to get done. And this doesn't just relate to things in terms of the actuarial career and your future. It is all about things that are happening in your life now, the house, school, maybe kids. That to-do list never goes away. It doesn't matter what stage of life you're in. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter where you are in your career. And our type of people, we see that to-do list and we want to tackle it, get it out of the way as quickly as possible, as soon as possible, because a lot of the time we're sort of like a work first, fun later type of person. But because of that, with this never ending to-do list, we sometimes never get to the fun. We never get to doing those things that we actually enjoy and really want to spend our time on. We sort of end up turning into a workaholic. And that's certainly not a bad thing, but later on, if we continue down that path, we might kind of regret not having some fun along the way. Life is so valuable and not only being able to achieve big things, but also enjoying the time that you have to do things that are fun, things that help you relax, things that help you rejuvenate. Those types of things are going to, even though it doesn't maybe feel like it in the moment, those are going to help you to be better focused in the future, be more motivated to do the things that are on your to-do list, to be able to achieve those big goals. So in December, try to let go of that guilt of not doing all the things that you should be doing. Try to let go of that guilt of doing things that maybe feel like they're a little bit of a waste of time, but you still really love doing them, even though they're not necessarily being productive and crossing things off on your to-do list or even getting closer to achieving a goal that you have. You need that time for yourself and in the long run, it's going to make a huge difference to helping you achieve those goals that you have in, in your future without the burnout and without the stress. And it's also gonna allow you to just live in the moment for a while. And if you do that for December, I hope that you also choose to carry that mentality into 2026. Becoming an actuary is a very long-term goal. You are going to be studying for actuarial exams for five to 10 years, maybe even longer. And a lot of the time when 2026 comes around, January comes around, People have this mindset of setting big goals and going all in and doing everything they can, dropping the things that they like to do because they now have some big goals that they wanna accomplish. There's a new year. And for people like us, we don't need that incentive of a new year. We have that going on in the back of our minds all the time, 365 days a year. We can afford to relax sometimes. We can afford to take some time off. So be kind to yourself. Take some slow days, days where you don't have anything scheduled. A Saturday just to do whatever the heck you feel like doing that day. Maybe sleeping in. <laughs> that would be nice, I'm sure. And really just doing the things that help you to enjoy life so that you can continue this journey long term. You don't burn out. And also I encourage you, as I said in other videos, to work really hard on fitting your actuarial goals into your lifestyle rather than trying to fit your lifestyle around studying. Remember that 
work-life balance, it doesn't start when you're done exams. And that's the reason a lot of people decide to get into the actuarial career or one of the motivating factors is the great work-life balance. And yes, there can be great work-life balance in actuarial work, but it doesn't happen naturally. You still have to be intentional because even when you go start working in an actuarial role and maybe even still when you're, and, and definitely even still when you are done exams, there's still going to be a never ending to-do list at work of the things that you need to get done or want to get done or things you'd like to do that's always going to be there. So you have to intentionally make sure that you're taking the time that you need to relax, rejuvenate, refresh, so that you can come to those things with full energy, full focus when the time is right. Now, this is going to be my last video of 2026 in terms of our long foreign content. I will be re releasing a few short videos in December, but until January, this is gonna be the last time I officially see you here. So I hope you enjoy your holidays and come back to 2026 with full steam and full motivation, but also keeping in mind that this is a long-term thing. It's okay to take things slow and it's okay to give yourself a break. Bye.